it's great to see that the six FAA test sites had something to do last week. Um, but every time I see large formations of aircraft, I can only think of the ascending technologies and Ars Technica Spaxels. The NASA UTM trial had up to 22 aircraft flying at once, and the system was aware of where each one was distributed around the country, all in remote locations, away in Alaska and Virginia and Reno, Nevada, Corpus Christi, Texas, all those good places. More tests are to come, and the results handed to the FAA in 2019. It's a start. Gathering and presenting hard data is important. Really great that Palmel from NASA will be speaking about these test flights at our show, SESB Expo, at the end of this week. And I guess, if you know me, you can hear my butt coming. Um, I would lay a wager that there were many more times that number of private drones flying at just the same time in cities all around America. And you have to rewind the clock back to 2012, um, four years ago, to to find the first example of Ars Technica and Ascending Technology. And they broke into this with 49 quads flying together in formation. And they're not only flying in formation, but forming shapes in the sky as well. In March of 2013, they flew an amazing um, flight in the very centre of London, underneath Heathrow's approach. And at night, they flew the Star Trek logo on Earth Day. And this was the same week that the FAA tested two RPA at night in the danger area to much fanfare. Um, they set a record for their specsels in 2013, of flying 50 together. Another fantastic 2013 flight that I liked was a formation flight in Brisbane, Australia. Um, that was a kangaroo they drew in the sky. So... The flights in Australia and London were with permission of aviation authorities, were very much on team. And following that theme, this year, uh, was it this year or was it last year? This year, yeah, um, Intel flew 100 